Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. And really, the bit in the middle isn't too great either. But every once in a while, things aren't so bad. This is the situation our three doofuses found themselves in. After successfully pitching their uh, opposite of a gun on sink or swim, the genius, the rage monster, and the big dumb idiot had the world on a string. Well, for the most part. Anu, the competent one, intended to collect a corpse. But thanks to Susan Caldwell's bounty, Anu might find herself being the corpse she wanted to collect. Don't give me that look. You narrate next time you think you can do so much better. Four hundred. <laughs> Ock! Ock! Can you hear me? Rescue me! Some lady locked me in a coffin and called Tidior. Breaking up it sounded like you said you were locked in a coffin and Tidior was on the way. That's exactly what I said. Can't be right though. Never be dumb enough to willingly get into a coffin. Hello. Hello. Great. Level of deterioration, severe. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, low. Damn! I don't care if there's a war going on. I got your girl in a coffin and a, a bank account getting skinnier by the minute and... Level of deterioration, none. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, high, if she were a corpse. A scalpel, useful for transforming people into corpses. I don't, no, 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 I, 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 I don't want to kill again. Really? Because the idea is growing on me. Watch it! Nothing personal! 
Necessary? Uh, and where is Fran? I have something important to tell you both. Bu -bu -bu. I, I said no peeking. Voila! Say hello to our new HQ. Do you love it? I bought it from the city's top realtor, Rhonda Fofolia. She's one of the dirty 30. Her whole reputation is built on being nice and honest. Central location, spacious, great schools. And there's something homey and familiar about it. You bought Franz Frogut. <laughs> what? No. Yes. You bought the literal rubble of Franz Frogut. The same location you wanted us to leave. There's no way we could know for sure this is Franz Frogert. There's a big sign that says Franz Frogert. <laughs> that sign is old news. You're looking at the new headquarters of our company, which I named... an awesome name that I totally remember, and that name is... <sighs> okay, I panicked and named it Franz Frogert again. I'm sorry. 
What name would you pick? Literally anything else. You bought a blown out Froger shop. The same Froger shop we fled. And the only difference is the custom plaque. Not the only difference. This place is full of updates. Come, look around. Updates such as... What about these 100% granite countertops? It's slabs of blown up granite from Tedios' attack that have been left on the counter. She said it was shabby chic. Shabby, 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 chic. Okay, fine. But, but, I haven't even told you the best part yet. I didn't need to take out a loan. I was able to pay it full, in cash, up front. You what? It took some professional gauche, uh, professional negotiation, but I got her to accept all the money we want from Sink or Swim. Since this building is ours, free and clear. <laughs> you idiotic. <gasps> This already was ours before it was blown apart from an invasion. You bought it for no reason with all our capital? These are some high level biz maneuvers. Business maneuvers. It's above your pay grade. I don't expect you to understand. I get it. You think I agreed to purchase this place right away, but. I'm not an idiot, Anu. I knew friend would want to invest in some security measures, and I knew you'd want some high-tech tools to work with. So, being the amazing negotiator I am, I talked Rhonda into giving us... Into giving us what, exactly? If you're dragging this out to create suspense, which just feels like anxiety to me, more, more anxiety. A plasma ball. Very scientific. I'm sure it'll help with your experiments. Yeah, I haven't seen you make that face since we were kids. You'd always make that face just before you. <laughs> Let's not go nuts here. If you were me, you'd do the same. Get up, you two. Ah. I leave you two doofuses alone for one second and you're at each other's throats. You are also in the place where we last saw you. Friend Octavia, have you been duped again? Yes, he spent all of our capital buying. She pulled my ear. Hard. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm back home again. And I love these countertops. They used to be our floor. Even if Octavio spent all of our money on my shop, I have made up for it by hiring our support staff on the cheap. And by cheap, I mean nothing. Come along, Fergus. Fergus? arousing. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, uh. A rather fascinating human. The dancing. The free labor. He lives in a perpetual flow state, coexisting with instinct and agency. He completely bypasses the contradiction of programming. His oscillating hips are fascinating and, somehow, life-affirming. 
Yeah, he contradicts my programming. <laughs> when I reflexively murdered that security guard, I found myself in a consciousness paradox. But you have solved it. I shall learn from you. You are my guru. Free labor. Free labor. I thought I was your guru. What an astonishingly inaccurate assessment. Him. A, a guru. Him. Uh, sure, he's a great dancer with chiseled abs and a butt that refuses to quit. But I'm not sure he's the right fit for a startup business. Uh, does he have any usable experience? No offense, of course. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A dancing shirtless man is always useful. You just have to think outside the box. Or on top of the box. <gasps> Marketing opportunity. He dances on top of a box. Yes! Free labor. No employees dancing on any boxes. Or tables. Free labor. Who died and made you queen of HR? The following HR professionals had their contracts fulfilled, by which I mean lives terminated in the past hour. Sophia Poppy, Eleonora Copsa, Harriet Lilly, Jade Dukesha. That's not what she meant. Fergus sought me out for his college's work-study intensive program. Free labor. He's majoring in libidinous business management and minoring in hot throbbing. Brian. You do know you're not trapped, right? You can leave any time. Give one thrust for yes, two for no. Free. And you want to work for your college course unpaid? Labor. That's it. I give up. Welcome aboard. Yes. I. Hope you enjoy your time at Franz Frogert. Whoopee! Fergus, whip us up some Froyo daiquiris. Extra space room. Free labor. Free labor. <gasps> I never get tired of that tush. Oh, yeah. Take it. Seems like I'm the only one who's actually made an effort. Do either of you have any idea what I went through to bring you the... the... the nothing at all? Weren't you supposed to get, like, supplies? A corpse. Oh, wow, are we pivoting to the corpse business? Either way, I don't see a corpse, which means you screwed up just as badly as us. Worse, we actually came back with something. You're right. I screwed up. I had to bring a dead body for organic testing material, and I failed. I failed you, I failed the company, and most of all, I failed myself. If there's anything, anything I could do to make it up to you, let me know. Well, I guess you could wax my hover chair. And make me tacos for the rest of the month? I could do it with an oil change. Oh, never mind. It turns out corpses, much like my current mental state, are fragile. Yeah. The point is, none of us accomplished anything. Is that right? Not entirely. Anu at least managed to evade the TDO patrols currently searching for her. Right before she and Octavia ran past several dozen security cameras on their way here. Wait, what now? TDR was there? The person running the morgue tried to collect all my bounty. Baby girl's first bounty? Aww. Guys, focus! If the security cams got us, we were followed. Yes, almost certainly. Maybe you were followed, but I wasn't. We were going to the same place. There's no way. Hello, Ding Dong! Dr. Anu Dahar, prepare to die! Wait just a minute. 
bitter and new to her da. Your bounty is misspelled. I won't murder you. Why don't you let me get you a Frogurt? We'll all cool down and let calmer heads prevail. What do you say? I am a gun. Violence is expected! Yes, but if you pull that trigger, a couple of things are gonna happen. One... Oh my god! No! Congratulations! You killed my commander and I killed your doctor! We are now even. Steven. Oh, I'll show you it even! for the win! Joke's on you! I didn't like those guys anyway! I had a mission, and I completed it! Meanwhile, your friend is still dead! Later, loser! I'm here for you, big guy. I'm here. I was really starting to like her. That's it? You just gonna let me go like that? Do I wanna break you in half with my bare hands? Absolutely! But that would be a violent, spiteful act of revenge. And she wouldn't want that. So yeah. I'm letting your metal ass go, but not for you, for her. We let you down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct, Anu's body is dead. It can be hard to accept such tragedies. Are you feeling, sis? You were totally dead there for a minute. A, a really scary minute. I, uh, yeah. Are, are you okay? I think so. If you need mouth to mouth, just say the word. Whoa, whoa, you were totally dead there less than a minute ago. Maybe you should take it easy. No, no, I'm fine. I... <gasps> Not fine at all. It's weird. I... Uh, Anu? Your eyes are glowing. I feel... Wrong. Is this normality? Nothing about...
thought this is normal. Anu, say something. Are you okay? In peril. Well, I sure as hell can fix that. Give me that piece of shit. For whatever reason, whenever Anu gets a hit of this shard's healing juice, she goes all funny. I don't know why, but I also don't care. It's been nothing but trouble since we got it. Gah! No! You seem to have changed the shard's energy signature, Francine. You will only cause us. Anu? That you, girl? We must be made whole. That's a big no. Hold up. I know what to do. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. OK, I'm out of ideas. What do we do? I'm new to alien possession, too. What would Anu do? Probably befriended. Ah, worth a shot, I guess. And if not, I have something else we can try. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hi. Uh, uh, Octavio here. Um, I don't know what you're doing to my sister, but you need to let her go. Uh, now? Please? Just leave her alone, okay? She's she's no good to you if you hurt her. You're half for the promise. We are made whole. I I promise. <gasps> oh no! First you were dead, and then you were super possessed. This has been a real roller coaster. I didn't even get a chance to give you mouth to mouth. Unless, of course, you want some now. I mean, would it help? I am fine, uh, really. I'm sorry I blew all our money on a blown out Froyo shop. I'm sorry my intern is so sexy. And I'm sorry I got trapped by a crazy candle making morgue attendant and let Tidio straight to our door. I'm sorry I cannot identify with any of these extreme emotions. Free labor. Free labor. Free labor indeed. <sighs> Listen, I'm great at running a dessert-based business that I have inherited, but let me get real with you both for a minute. Starting a technology business? It's hard. So, so hard! hard. And we're bad at this. Like, really bad. Really bad. bad. We've made so many rookie mistakes. So many. We've lost, like, millions of dollars overnight. True. But in the process, we found each other. Meh. OK, maybe Fran's right. Fran's definitely right. You know what they say, though? The first step to being bad at business is admitting you're good at business. That doesn't make any sense. It does when you think about it. No, it still doesn't make any sense. Look, we're all beginners at this, right? Maybe we need to get some help from a veteran. Someone seasoned, successful, and already on our side. Strong Fork. The angel investor. Oh, that's a great idea. Get her on your phony decks. Already am. And it's an Echo Dex Pahone. And don't tell me what to do. Whatever. Give me the phone thingy. Howdy, howdy. You got Fran here. You can just talk normally. Fran of Fran's Frogert, as I live and breathe. Heard one of them chatty TD or guns broke into your homestead and put a hole straight through Arno's bread box. A we revealing our device brought me back from the dead. She did invest in us. We should respect our shareholders. If Ward gets out, it goes our way. It's called controlling the Nair. Narrative? Alive, not alive. Chicken and waffles. I mean, what does it even mean to live these days? Breach. I mean, are any of us actually alive? I am not. 
I'm confused. Does Anu have a pulse? Yes, I do. It's 74 BPM. <laughs> oh, well, color may relieve y'all. <laughs> but still, I know them TDR scoundrels like the back of my horse's head. They're gonna just keep trying to kill you until, well, they kill you. That's why we're calling you on the Echo Doodle Doo. Echo Dex. We were wondering if you could help get our business on its feet. Maybe protect us from Tidor and other bounty hunters while we're at it? Tell you what, housing your enterprise is a big expense, but... I didn't just invest in that Healy Beam of yours, I invested in y'all. And if there's one thing I do, it's protect my investments. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're investments! That's great to hear. I think I speak for all of us when I say we very much want to stay alive. And we're grateful for your help. From one business tycoon to another. I'll put y'all up in my private hacienda. It's safe there. You can continue your research, Hang in the hot tub, enjoy a shiatsu massage from Abdul. Research. Hot tub. Abdul. I'm sending a car now. See y'all in a jiffy. High five time. High five time. Yeah. And speaking of investments. <laughs> We need you to stay here and do whatever you can to clean this place up. Free labor. They do that sometimes. You'll get used to it. yourselves at home. Um, is the hacienda you? Oh, no. Y'all have to forgive me. I know it's rude not to give y'all a big old warm welcome face to face, but you got here just in time for a real special hootenanny was happening this very night. I'm hosting a bit of a fete or partido, if you will, and you are, of course, all invited. A party? With... people? <sighs> Anu, Han, take a deep breath. In... You can't just party spring on me! No warning, because surprise! <laughs> and out. It's just a little soiree, sister. We're gonna be beside you the whole time. You gonna be okay? <laughs> the party will start in just a few wee hours, and I so look forward to meeting y'all in person when it kicks off. Until then, I went and took the liberty to arrange some pleasant diversions for each of you that I hope you will find to your liking. I'll leave you in the hands of my capable assistant. What about Louis? Do you have something special for him to do? Yeah, what about Louis? He's part of our team. What? He's grown on me. I have not. I remain unattached from your person. See? Charming. I would never overlook such a fine piece of machinery. L-013? You'll find an outlet on the wall. It's quite special. It will plug you into an AI-only server where you can, how to put this, exchange data with other consenting intelligences. I'm talking multiple data packets. I do enjoy the exchange of data. Cool, bud. 
You, uh, you enjoy that. Oh, my. That's very good. Mr. Wallace Dar, please follow me. Miss Miskowitz and Dr. Dar, I will be with you momentarily. in Bradwick. No way. Yes way. No way! Bivington Bradwick. Yeah, I... Yes, it's really me. From Forge's super successful Dirty 30? Yes, well done, Octavio. But, you know, I'm not the only person here associated with that vaunted list. You are too. <laughs> That's right, you are one of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. How does it feel? That photo! It makes me look like an ugly, gawky baby. I mean, look at me, for real. In real life, I'm a fit, strapping young man about time, you know what I'm saying? Look at this. Come on, honestly. almost forgot. This is for you. It grants you access to the Dirty 30 VIP room. Dirty 30 members only. <laughs> so, where is the old angel investor? Would love to party with her in chat, you know? One business sight into another. Oh, the angel investor isn't here. She unwinds in more private circles. More private than this? Relax. Okay, can I offer you an overpriced drink? You seem like a man of taste. Maybe something from the booze luge. <laughs> Only select members from the VIP section can partake from the booze I'd never say no to a taco. You want tacos? Like some sort of non-VIP plebeian? Okay. I mean, why not? You're the man of the hour after all. We'll have a taco luge. Just this once. versions are for you, the real VIP. Anu and Fran are being well taken care of, I assure you. 
So sit back, relax, and enjoy the success you earned. You're sure they're having a good time too? Oh, absolutely positive. Dar, at last! It's so great to meet you. Come on in, please. I've been dying to show you the space. Huh? Say hello to your new home away from home. Please, after you. State-of-the-art facilities, unlimited resources. Huh? A dedicated, multidisciplinary team working under you. No oversight and no Deadlines. Not to be just like super on the nose about it, but frankly, this is any scientist's dream come true. So no deadlines, just timelines? We know better than to try and rush genius, Dr. Dar. But, but... We find putting hard deadlines on complicated projects really just results in creating anxiety where none needs to be. No. No anxiety. Not here, Dr. Dar. Not here. Seriously, this is perfect. It's like you picked this lab right out from one of my dreams. But I couldn't possibly take this lab. I have my own company and a project I'm working on, and Octavio and Fran need me, and... Okay. I understand. It's a real shame, though, because we have some problems, which, if you solve them, would change all of science. Probably even the world. Forever. Like... The type of problem where they'd name an equation after me? Equations? <laughs> More like planets. But that's okay. You are a busy woman with things to do. I suppose I have a few minutes. I could take a quick peek. A very good fancy machine, not functional. Yeah, I know, but why? Scanning. No idea. <sighs> oh, maybe I can review the work they've done on it so far. <laughs> This then? It's a code we've found. We're positive it has something to do with iridium energy conversion, but we haven't been able to crack it. There's no cipher for this code in the database. If I had more text to work with, I'm positive I could crack the code and translate it. <laughs> it's an honor watching you work. <laughs> I 
could take you. <laughs> Should I take you? I want to take you. I can't take you. But someone else could take you. It'd be wrong to take you. I'm gonna take you. I took you. Trust the process. Trust science! I love a well-educated cylinder. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a graduated cylinder? <laughs> oh, good one, Anu. <laughs> An incredibly good one indeed. Let's, let's scan this setup and see what else we can see, shall we? I've identified the issue, but I can see how you missed it. This fluid is not pH balanced for the reaction you're attempting to achieve. It just needs a little more base. <laughs> I said it needs a little more base. <laughs> no, nothing. Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Where do they keep their alkalis? Such focus! Such dedication! Secrets of science kept secret, eh? It's written in the same code that's on the whiteboard. <gasps> Surely there's enough text here to crack the code if I use my tech goggles to analyze it. Decrypting weird code. <sighs> Cipher unlocked. You're welcome. Hmm. Now that I have the code, I can translate the whiteboard. Plus one point for Anu's genius. You cracked the code. We've been stumped on that one for weeks. What does the message say? Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. That seems like pretty life-altering advice. Identified the issue. You've you've crossed the streams. If we uncross them, <laughs> should be all working now. Oh, so close, but no. When you've exhausted all other options, sometimes it's best to just get physical. You, you've done it. We've been struggling with these problems for weeks on end, and you solved them, all of them, in one day. That's wow. That is wow. Well, I. You know, sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Three 
cheers for Dr. Dar. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Fran. Rita? In the flesh. How are your sisters doing, Rita? I'm sure you've heard Rhonda made it to Forge's Dirty 30 this year. And Reva, well, I think her jealousy got the better of her. I haven't heard from her since the magazine came out. She's probably cooling off somewhere. You know how she is. Such a drama queen. Ugh. Yeah. Yep to all that. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm here to talk about the future. Okay. And the future is the Franz Frogert franchise. You want to turn my Frogert shop into a franchise? Yes. The company I represent is willing to invest several trillion dollars to convert what was once your humble little shop into a galaxy-wide empire. And the cherry on top? A five billion dollar signing bonus. All for you. Five billion dollars? That's almost six billion dollars. Go ahead, take her for a spin. Make yourself a cup of Frogurt. We paid careful attention to your signature flavor profiles. You're gonna love it. See for yourself. Okay, let's see how you did with my chocolate dill pickle. Did you even get this picture? Look at your face. It's everywhere. Corporate fat cats keep their loot in places like this. <clears throat> Salutations. Care for a duel in a thrilling trial of Boatlanders? Ah, crap. Okay, Tiny, let's go. <laughs> Your jest is hollow. For I am not Tiny. Unless you're referring to my genitals, which I lost in a buzzsaw accident. Don't care. Let's go. Select your ball lander. Fall. Fall versus Brick. Fall landers. Fight. This is gonna hurt. Ha! 
Now or toasty. C -c -c critical. Wow, I'm new to this. Either I'm really good, oh, or you suck. Both. Wait. Oh. Good boy. Dude in a trunk with no junk. Better collect all the dough in this place. I am Fran of Franz Froger's after all. Make it rain! <gasps> hey now. <gasps> Even better than cash. Go ahead, explore the space. After all, it's your space. I hate these newfangled broken here? I do not use that mode anymore. <sighs> Looks like someone is repressing a traumatic memory. Would you like a foop in hand? No! That's a foop in shame. You know our policy. If you want to repair, you gotta share. I can share. You want me to share something personal? Something personal. Hmm. Something personal. I never got to Pork Octavio. That tall stack of man meat. You're avoiding your true feelings. That foop's my fooping foop. Wait, hold on. I can do it. I... I... You can't just foop a suppressed memory from thin air. You have to be relaxed. Gently foop it from your mind. I'd like to foop you from my mind. Why don't you do some chores around your store? This place could use fooping up, and the activity is sure to give your memory a foop in the pants. <laughs> door you haven't set the foop approved music put on the foop approved uniform or wash your fooping hands foop privileges denied Woo. 
can't hurt to liven this place up with some tunes. Please, Poopa Selection. Better Promethea. Uh, 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 uh. That's not what I fooped. That's not what I fooped! Foofy, foofy, doo! That fooping feeling is fooping out of you! Keep it up! <laughs> Like what? You look like poop! Total poop! A thick, steaming pile of poop! All right! I'll freshen up! Poop-tastic! Please poop your poop! <laughs> no, not a chance! Wash my hands, huh? Thanks, Mother. Yeah, one of those fancy schmancy zen fountains. <gasps> Namaste. for field day, a holiday where kids gather to go look at a field. I saw a group of bullies going to town on a poor, defenseless spider ant. And if there's one thing I hate, it's bullies. What did you do? What I always did. I got mad. Only this time, I wasn't just mad. This time, I was so angry, I activated my hover chair's mecha mode. In hindsight, it was a smidge of an overreaction. But once I had those bullies in my sight, the rage, it carried me inexorably towards a conclusion I didn't yet know to dread. Caught up in my anger, I launched my... A good old-fashioned mecha headbutt! Ooh, me! Did they survive? Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. In fact, it sort of set off what I'd later call my big murder whoopsie. I hit those suckers so hard, they're flying through the air already dead, and they hit a nearby sitting tank of field gas. What's field gas? Gas for the field. The better question is, what was it doing sitting there full that afternoon when the field should have been gassed up already? Anyways, these guys hit the tank, and it's a small explosion. More people died, and they weren't even bullies. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I saw the answer. 
It was so obvious, right in front of my face, surrounded by other possible options. The public pool! But instead of putting out the fire like it was supposed to do, it just made things worse. Water spreads fire when the original source is oil. Fuel gas being oil. I know that now! The buildings and train station and passing train around the field all went up. More lives lost. I was just trying to help. I would call this my somewhat bigger murder whoopsie. First the bullies, then the field gas explosion. Now I'd been betrayed by water? There was just so much destruction, so much death. I was trapped in a cyclone of emotions, but what I felt most, honestly, weirdly turned on. Anyway, that's how I learned at a young age a painful truth. I am a monster. My inability to control my anger resulted in unimaginable destruction and death. I vowed then and there never to use mecha mode again, but of course that vow wasn't enough to save me from the worst punishment Promethea can lay on a person. Compulsory anger management. Ooh. Now that's a foopin' feeling! That's the key to Fran's family-friendly feeling foopin' frogers! You've shared. Now, you can repair. The sooner you sign off on the store, the sooner we can have you sign your contract. Milking pump malfunction. Milking pump malfunction. No! Milking pump malfunction. What have they done to you? Restart milk pump or milk provider will be terminated. I gotta milk you with that machine. Remember to poop it with a smile. unholy evils that dwell in this frogurt. It's delicious. 
Right? So, are you in or are you out? Take your time. About ten seconds worth of it. This was a trap. To emotionally devastate you, yes! <laughs> and it worked! <laughs> so does my freeze ray. Oh, don't panic. I'll come by and thaw you out later. Nah, I won't. So, Franz Frogert. Was that all your idea? Whatever you say will be immortalized in your super successful Dirty 30 profile. My body is just a vessel for the genius of the universe. Asking whether it's my idea is like asking the world's largest, smartest, coolest tree whether it's the tree's idea to grow toward the sun. Profound, but also confusing. That's some great PR. Well, thank you. I've thought about what I'd say in my intro for a while. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! This song is my jam! <laughs> this party's a little dead. Totally dead. Why don't you and I head to the VVIP section? <laughs> There's a VVIP section? Here. the more successful you are, the weirder stuff you're into. <laughs> no, Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. <sighs> Care to stick your face in the belcher? Courtesy from the angel investor, only 11 people in the world have enjoyed milk gas from the voucher. I'm not that into drugs, especially from amphibians I don't recognize. Strange. And all this time I thought you were cool. I mean, you are cool, aren't you, Octavio? I don't know if the angel investor would deign to meet someone who isn't cool. <laughs> Bim. Bibbity Bipster. <laughs> I'm so cool that I'm above peer pressure. Why? Because I have no peers. My coolness is without equal. That's how cool I am. Economically cool! Oh. Sheesh. I still wish Anu and Fran were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Anu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. You did it. You actually did it. Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is you did it without using the potassium magnesium channels. Absolutely brilliant. 
You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put, you've changed science forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dar, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. She's heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> She's in the observation room. Is the observation room comfortable? Are you claustrophobic? No, I'm panicking because I feel very, very stupid. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Where are you taking me? Huh? Take my shirt off. Or we could go to the VVVIP room. The VVVIP room? Yes! Welcome to the VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. Party, party, party! Party, party, party! Oh, that's some serious high-level CEO partying. Right? I feel myself recouping my energy. When do I get out of here? Oh, let our staff worry about that. Oh, <laughs> sweet! <laughs> Anu? Oh, yes. Right there. Put your data right there. Fit me? Not really. How did you follow me here? Inconsequential. I'm here now. It doesn't matter that you and your friends humiliated me in a sewer. It doesn't matter that I was fired for playing Bolander. If you have any hope of freeing your little friend, you must first defeat me. I'd prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't ask. Now, battle! Cause God damn it, anyway. Come here. Select your ball lander. Maya. Maya versus Moe. Ball lander. Fight. Whoa. Critical! 
Competitor in the galaxy, Brandy is. Eat it, you teeth, your trash. You can't have won. I was depending on this. I needed that W. Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you. Just food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Thanks. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? I hope not. Wow. Louis, wake up! I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. board of sensations. It was true bliss. I think our children have got themselves into trouble. We better go find them. Our children? In this metaphor, would I be the daddy? Ah, uh, you. Are the daddy. I am the daddy, yes. What happened while I was diverted? Oh. I relived my suppressed life-defining trauma, and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant. To make yogurt. From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. We gotta go find our two dum-dums before they get themselves killed. Come on. It doesn't get any better than this. Dumb! 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 So dumb! Okay, I admit I partied a little hard, but that's to be expected. I made Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Oh my god. Don't you get it? You didn't make that stupid list. It's just one more scam you fell for because reality won't enter your thick skull. That's why you're sitting in a cage. You'd never think things through, Octavio. Oh, 
Gosh, I'm so sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone who also got trapped in a cage! Listen, I... There you idiots are! I leave you alone for ten minutes, and you both get caught by TDR? <laughs> You don't have to freeze. You're not a threat. You two, drop your weapons! Loud and fast-like! I mean, soft and slow-like! You, you always mess that up! Not now! Please, don't undermine me in front of the targets! Hey, I'm a threat! I may be stuck here, but not for long. Give me a minute. My entire body is a weapon. Then drop it! As you wish. Oi! Is that a weapon? N no. Drop it anyway! Drop it! Exactly as easy as I expected it to be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Aww, cute. Doesn't make a difference. You get over here and I'll put my fist through your. <laughs> the company that made your chair? I acquired it ages ago, and I can control it. Any way I please. And you can make the chair do fart noises. Hey, you want to talk to the guy in charge? I'm right here. <laughs> Here's how it is. Do as I say, or you, and obviously they, die. Now, the device, please. No. Hey! Petulant child. I'll also be taking your echo decks. Never! What's next? You're gonna break Louie? Why would you even say that? No need. I think your robot friend will discover he left that little melding of the minds with some dirty data packets. Now that you mention it, some of the data I just exchanged was unscrupulous. It was all unprotected. They even used my... Port. Oh no. Oh no, 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 I'm riddled with STDs. Software transmitted diseases. I need a moment to run diagnostics and swap my system. Really swap my system. Louis! This is your plan? Lock us in cages and hurt our feelings and give us diseases and uh, steal our invention and what? Mass produce it? That's not gonna work. We own the patent. <laughs> okay. You can laugh, but our investor isn't going to be too happy about this. The mystery caller who jumped in to bail us out of sink or swim has our backs. We may not know who they are exactly, but they're somewhere around here. And anyone that could just drop a few billion on us out of the blue, quite obviously, has a lot of resources that should not be crossed. And I'm just now realizing it's you. It's you're, you're the angel investor. And there it is. Well, golly. 
flee. Sure would be nuts if I just bought myself a rich to hit translator and funded my own competition. <laughs> Yuck. Wait. That box is the angel investor? Wow. Here's what happens now. Anu, you're coming with me. Kill the others. Ah. Kill the himbo last. He means the most to her. No! You can't! Oh, good. Now this can be a lesson in never telling me what to do. <laughs> now you all get to learn yourself something about bossing the big cowgirl around. You hear? Stupid app. I thought you I fixed this. You! Remind me to terminate someone in you, Island. Please, I... You have all the power here. I'm not negotiating. I'm not threatening. I'm asking. Please, don't do this. Oh. Your lack of shame is endearing. As is your sentimentality. Taxing. But endearing. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> never mind. No, I've just thought of a much better use for them. You've just earned yourselves front row seats to the hottest show in town. <laughs> Men, raise the curtain. It's showtime. thrilled to see so many familiar faces here today. <laughs> Shut up! Wainwright, Reese, Torg, Karagawa Sr., Athena. Ah, oh, undoubtedly it was your communal sense of self-preservation that motivated you to be here this evening. Well, that and the fact that none of you would let the others get the competitive edge. But now, you ask yourselves, why am I here? And the answer is... A demonstration? <laughs> oh, I have gathered you together for a mercifully one-night-only opportunity. To merge with Tidior, or face your swift and utter annihilation. <laughs> See, since the beginning of civilization, uh, we have pioneered ways to hurt one another. From the stick to the stone, to the stick with a stone tied to the end of it, and onward throughout the ages, to the laser sploder, the rebel yell, and who can forget? The iconic face melter. Hmm? <laughs> Each one a rung on the ladder toward power, a ladder that we all race to climb. But thanks to the research efforts of Tidior and a few very gracious volunteers, <laughs> bring me the buffoon. That one. Ah. to see ya! How's it going? Got a new power suit? Hey, Reese. Hey, Honu, it's your old boss. Let's, uh, network after this. Synergize. Talk through some new wind buffs. That's investment opportunities. Look, Tavio! Gotta tell you, not getting the best vibe from this being trapped on stage thing. Louis, wake up and kill her! Bad luck. He won't be firing a shot anytime soon. Hmm. I bested you, Anu. I've been one step ahead all along. I own you now, quite literally. So be a pet and cooperate. Arr. Now, you may be aware of what the less imaginative among you have been calling green iridium. You've also likely heard by now that my pursuit of it is the entire reason for my invasion of Atlas and this planet. 
That shard before you is a crystal of such extreme rarity that only a privileged few have ever viewed with their own eyes. Well, at least until Dr. Dar showcased it and its incredible healing properties to the entire planet while begging for money on sink or swim. Begging? Like, no. But what Dr. Dar did not know was that the shard that she and her team of imbeciles had acquired was, in fact, the missing half of a true beautiful pair. A second shard? This seems, and stop me if I'm being pessimistic, but not great. They're a set? Did we know they came in a set? Are they worth more money in a set? Oh, <laughs> so much more. Hmm. And what the good doctor didn't show you, perhaps because she had no idea, was that the power of these shards can be wielded in more ways than one. Hmm? Dangerous, yes? Don't worry, in line with her recent groundbreaking research with Iridium, uh, work that the world's biggest idiot discarded. Um, despite how loud that mustache is, Reese, you, you, you're on mute. As I was saying, Dr. Dar harnessed this most magnificent healing power with a simple, classic ray gun. Oh, we have her device here. The Biographer, I believe she called it. Hmm, quaint, isn't it? Who'd have thought that the idiot CEO of Atlas would overlook and cancel such a quaint little ray gun? It's made from found materials. It's not quaint. It's eco-friendly. And in my opinion, that makes it really dope. Point taken. This dope device. This device harnesses, concentrates, and amplifies the shard's effects. Now, thanks to some experiments in our lab earlier, Dr. Dar helped us iterate on the idea a bit. Hmm. Now, as I begin this demonstration, it is vital that you keep this fact at the front of your minds. TDR is in possession of the only two extant anahadium shards in existence. deny my esteemed competition the demonstration that I promised them? Meh. I don't think so. <laughs> As you are about to witness, the race to the top is over. I won! <laughs> now you have two choices. You can posture uselessly until I raise your company to the ground and strike your names from the history books, or B, accept defeat, merge your companies with TDR, keep your lives, and call me boss. Hmm? Go on, call me boss. <laughs> Go to hell! Scathing. <laughs> Who's the boss? Suck it, Granny. Could have killed him, but he didn't give me what I wanted. Hmm. Will come back upon you. I'll put. 
personally ensure that you pay? For your crimes to life, to the cosmos, to the fabric of my being. See, one shard makes it simple to save a life. But the other makes killing on a massive scale. It's easy to breathe See, with this simple process of rinse and repeat, you can, in fact, do far more than simply kill. You can obliterate even the most defiant spirit. Now, who's the boss? You're... the boss. <laughs> and that is what I'm selling. Forget about death. Death is so easy, so passe. I am marketing total, absolute submission. God, with these shards, I can take a city, a civilization, an entire planet, and bend it to its knees. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, Chief. What is this? The shards! We're, we're freeing the shards! Criminals. Plunderers. Murderers. Put her down! Holy... F F Froyo... <gasps> How are other half? Kill them all or face permanent termination! Ah! Here's an experiment. Let's turn Dr. Dar's healing device into a harming device. Hmm? Put Dr. Dar in the lab, put her idiot brother in a cell as leverage. As for the others? Incinerate them. Uh, do you mean that literally? Yeah, or, or is it like a poetic license? I do not care. That is the point, you incompetent buffoons. They are not worth my consideration. Just kill them. God. <laughs> 